I'm Steven. Today we'll we be talking about two pretty um, life-threatening diseases. So we have VSD and tamponade. So first thing we're going to be talking about is VSD. VSD stands for ventricular septal defect. So basically ventricular, the V, tells you where it's located. So between the ventricles, check. Septal is the S, so it tells you what it's affecting. So it's on the lower septum right here. And then D is defect, so there's an abnormality in structure. So essentially, if you put that all together, you'll get literally a hole between the ventricles so, so blood can maybe exchange, and so you'll get a really purplish mixture. Now, this is not because of a person's own doing. This is created at birth, so it's not really the person's fault. Next, we have tamponade. Now, tamponade can, has a possibility that it is life-threatening, but I'll give you the hit. So, tamponade is a disease where, let's say, this is our heart, a good old Valentine's Day heart. And so, the pericardium sac around that heart is basically filled with blood. So, maybe this is caused by a hole. So, let's look a little bit closer. Now, these colors are not anatomically correct. This is not supposed to be an accurate drawing. The colors aren't right, but let's get to it. So, basically, what I've drawn here, so these are the layers of the heart. Just a quick recap, this is the endocardium, which is where the red blood cells are hitting. And then some of these found a way out. And then Next, we have the muscular layer, the one that does all the contracting, the myocardium. And then we have the pericardium that has a gap. So essentially, this top layer, this surface layer, is the sac. So we have a hole in the heart. So there's basically a hole, I don't really know the cause, but then it's just going to leak blood out, fill up the sac. This can lead to pulseless electrical activity, P-E-A, which is a disease where, the heart, where you have an electrical signal, but the heart isn't really pumping. The, now, one of the causes of this is tamponade because basically it's going to be harder to pump if you have all that fluid surrounding. That is the presentation for these two probabilistically deadly diseases.